when I get ready to record, the AC comes on. So yeah, I need to hurry up because I have now, it is 8.19. I have three hours, well, almost three hours to myself before I have to go pick up JB. Um, JB is at school. He goes to school twice a week. It was three times a week before I had to get a car, but that's okay. I'm still blessed to be able to get him in two days out of the week. Um, so I literally have three hours to get everything I need to do this morning. That includes going to go get my feel because these nails are hard. But Tina, my nail technician, or Tom, they're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. So my nails done, grocery shopping, workout, get ready. I can do all that in now two and a half hours. I think I can get it done, y'all, so we can see what, what's going on. Y'all, my hair, I got my hair out because I will be doing a video tomorrow. And I did a light dusting i would not recommend doing this what i'm about to tell you i'm not telling you to do that to do this typically i like to dust my hair when it's in twists but when i see it looking raggedy i dust it like this so i just like to take a ball of hair stretch it out anything that i see scraggly i cut not recommending that you do that that's what i did today so all right you guys yeah i i gotta do all this stuff this morning i want to show y'all something i purchased recently for my back y'all so you guys this is what i purchased to help my back it's basically a self massager i got it on amazon for only 19 dollars and these little knots are really what helps with what they're called the trigger points if you've had back back issues or going to a chiropractor you know what trigger points are are around so i like to use it like this um it feels so good because my back hurts so bad right now and i'm literally going to rock it back and forth and i can move it around or i can move it slowly up my back like that anyway i got my nails done isn't this a pretty color it's opi of course um that is so pretty the color is called get rid of them blues yeah so look you guys i've been wanting to talk about this or ask you guys for your advice on this because i've been meeting to talk about it but i'm so damn random that i forget i need to get my tubes tied okay um i told you guys a few vlogs back that i was that friend that was forever going to be an aunt i don't want kids i love my baby i kind of like my nieces <laughs> no i love my nieces my thing is I love, I adore babies and toddlers, but when they get that six and seven talking back age, I'm gonna drop you off at the fire station and keep it put. Then the motherly, ooh, even though I'm a crafty half I can cook, I can do all of that. I can play the role. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't see myself having multiple kids. And when I see people with three, four, five, I know someone who has she has like six kids do that that's absolutely fine it's a beautiful thing i just don't see myself having a bunch of kids no so i tried to get my tubes tied y'all when i was 20 something and childless and my always yo was like you know better you can't even ask me that oh honey i'm not getting now you might as well keep it pushing she's trying to she's waiting here parking to see if i want to get out i crank off my car i'm not getting out and when she went and when she got drives by, I'm gonna crank my car back up because it's 100 degrees. Oh, she changed. Okay, let me crank my car back up. <laughs> so after I had JB, <coughs> excuse me, after I had JB, I took my OBGYN. And we're, I, I, I'm cool with my doctors. I have to be. You have to be, okay, in my opinion. So after I had JB, he was like two, and I said, I need, I need to get my tubes tied. She's like, well, why don't we wait a little bit? I'm like, we? What, what are we waiting on? No, I we need we need to go ahead and schedule this. Matter of fact, is your stuff clean? Is everything clean now? Can we do it now? We need to go ahead and get this done. I'm going. I have my um. I have an appointment in like two or three more weeks. I'm gonna bring it up again and I'm gonna let her know. I am sure. I do not want any other kids. Now I do think you have to take into consideration your future with whoever. Uh, I'm pretty confident about things working out with my with my man. He already has an older child. Um, he's turning 16 this year, and he's like, "Hell no!" Because <laughs> I thought like I asked him, you know, while we were trying to make things work out, "Do you want any other kids? Do you want more kids?" Because I think that's important. Important. I think it's a little selfish. Sorry, but I do. If you are single, to go and get your tubes tied, unless you just don't want to have get married or anything like that, whatever. Which is fine. Again, that's fine too. But 
I take into consideration his thoughts and views on wanting to have more children. And he's he's like, hell no, 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 no. Hold on, y'all. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, disclaimer. Let me back up. Y'all know I go through emotion, whatever. When, when I, I've been looking at this video. Let me see when the video was posted. Oh, this video was posted. It's been almost a week now, and it's from Anthony Banks doing an impersonation of Men Men Pamp. Men Men. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing her her name wrong. Um, y'all know who it is. I know some of y'all are subscribed to her. Men Pam. So y'all, uh, and I know a lot of us run in the same circles. I'm gonna play my favorite portion, my favorite part of this video. Disclaimer: heavy language for you Old Testament Christians, your Old Testament and New Testament. You may want to not watch this part, but it is funny as he's doing it in person. First of all, <laughs> first of all, the thumbnail is hilarious. He's wearing this wig, and I cracked up laughing because she, me and Pam asked about what wig it was. My motherfucking house, I have a, it's a small area. <laughs> Got my motherfucking hair back here. What is it? You know, because synthetic wigs last the longest. But I got this. These are going to be for my new office because, you know, I'm going to be gone for 30 days. I'm leaving for 30 days, so <laughs> I'm going to come back. And a new man pan. <laughs> so, you guys, I was looking at my videos I just recorded. There's some type of weird discoloration going on. I don't know if it's the shadows on my glasses. But it looks like I have mascara on my face and I don't. Let me go into the bathroom to see. Is that weird? Can you, can you check? Do you think it's me? Do my eye, does my eye look black? Or do you think it's the shadow of the glasses? So you you trying to say I'm paranoid? You don't know what your face looks like. So you guys, here is the food I'm gonna be making. Rice, orange chicken, corn. And these are the seasonings, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, soy sauce, honey, orange sauce. It does have sauce in it, but hey, I'm kicking it up. And we have chili sauce. So I have my, um, everything on here heating up and I'm just literally <laughs> gonna pour everything in. Daddy. What's he talking about? What's he talking about? So you guys, I had to turn the camera back on because I did not want to be insensitive to what is clearly going on in America. Now I'm going to say these few things and I'm going to be done. I don't know if, if people are not as in tune with their intuition as I think I am. I could feel that something was coming, something was brewing as late as last year. So when the Orlando shooting, shootings happened, I was like, okay. All the murders of these young black men, okay. Now with the Dallas shooting, okay. And I feel like 2016, we're at a halfway mark and it's just not going to be a good thing. But what really irks me out of all of this, thank you baby, is my white counterparts who cannot oh, show any oh empathy towards what's going on with our people. Mm. But they're quick to denounce the killing of these police officers. It is it is horrible. I'm not going to deny that. But how are you going to... Oh my God, that's a camera. Stop it, baby. How are you going to... It's my queen. Uh, show sympathy mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. express your condolences for these people and completely ignore what's been going on for years now. How can you sit back and do that? I, I don't I don't get it. So, you know, I was going back and forth for some, I, I, I posted one thing about that and I'm actually losing friends that I've known for 10 years. White friends that I've known for 10 plus years because they can't get it. I'm trying to raise a black boy in a country that already views him as a threat before he even opens up his mouth. So I don't care. I'm cutting you off. I don't need you in my life. Don't even talk to me. That's what I posted. I don't even need, don't need it right now, okay? So, y'all, 
I was going back and forth. Well, I wasn't. A couple of my other pro friends were going back and forth with one um, girl in particular. And she just couldn't get it. She's trying to understand, but she just couldn't get it. At point, I had to stop and I broke down and I held my child because I'm like, at this point, what do I tell my child? How do I explain this to him one day? And he's so sweet. He said, Mama, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's okay, Mama. I, I, I'm a, typically I'm an optimistic person. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> My prince. It's not a coincidence that I, ironically, a small time girl from Longview has surrounded herself with Africans. Yeah. It's not to say that I'm going to flee the country because you, you, there's no place to go, let's be honest. Um, I guess my point is, is that I'm going to be open. I need to go into my closet, meaning my prayer closet. I do not. I do not think this country. This country. We're not free here. We were brought here for a reason. It was not to be free, okay. Um. And so yeah, it is what it is, you guys. That's how I feel at this point, and it's not going to change at all. So yeah, y'all. Um, y'all be safe. Keep me in your prayers. I'll pray for you guys, and y'all take care. Bye.